in this video, I'm going to be going over my top five VJ starter packs for beginners. So first off is the Prime Visual Pack. This for me is actually the first visual pack I ever bought and I have absolutely no regrets with it. Firstly, it comes with about 150 loops. Uh, so when you're starting off, you wanna be stockpiling as many clips as possible, as the more clips you have, the more opportunities to learn you're gonna have. Especially as a beginner, you wanna be experimenting in as much as possible and a loop pack that's got a lot of loops in it is gonna give you a lot more variety to experiment with. With it having about 150 loops makes it great value for money, coming in at about 80 euros for the 1080p renders. When you're starting out, financial investment is something to sure be thinking about as loops can be very expensive. So definitely worth thinking about getting bang for your buck with those first few visual packs. I'm a big fan of these loops because they're so versatile. With a lot of them being such a simple black and white art style design, these loops can really work with so many styles of music, from the EDM, drum and bass, or even techno. Because of the simplicity of this pack, it means that they can be used in lots of different scenarios and genres. I think this pack works great for learning about masks as well. Again, with them being so simplistic in their black and white design, there are some really great shapes in there that really do make for amazing mask layers. As well, masks are a lot of fun and a really easy way to make your composition look top quality without spending too much time. With the Prime Pack as well, it's really a pack that carries a lot of longevity to it. Like no matter how experienced you get, there is always gonna be room for this pack in your composition because it's just so damn versatile. Because loop packs can be expensive when starting out, you wanna be thinking about loops that are also gonna be sitting with you for a while. I think where this pack really specializes is that it's great for learning Resolume as a software. Because the designs are so simple and it's got a nice mix of both 2D and 3D clips inside of it, it really makes for the perfect pack for learning the ins and outs of both visual composition and Resolume software itself. If you're brand new, this pack will keep you busy for a good few months before you're truly ready to outgrow it. So pack number two is the VJ Survival Kit 2 pack. This is another great starter pack for beginners. It's aptly named the VJ Survival Kit. It almost feels like a rite of passage for every VJ to own at least one of the VJ Survival Kits. I own numbers one through four of the Survival Kit, and I'd say that this one is my personal favorite. Again, it comes with 99 loops, which is great. Really gonna give you a lot of loops to play with, which is what we wanna see. So first off, this pack is actually a lot of fun to use. You can see the clips are really high energy, which if you wanna be doing music with a much higher tempo, then these clips are great for music like that. This loop pack is really great to actually help you learn how to play as a VJ. Whereas the Prime Pack is more specialized in helping you learn Resolume as a software, these clips really specialize in helping you learn about visual mixing. It's great for helping you learn how to blend in between clips and learning how to layer clips in and out as well. Because these clips are quite high energy, it's much easier to tell when you're overloading your composition and it's starting to look like visual vomit. So this loop pack almost forces you to be careful with your clip selecting and blending, which are essential skills in becoming a good VJ. These clips as well always look good at a live show. If you're playing your first ever gig and you're using this loop pack, there's gonna be absolutely no complaints. They have that classic VJ feel to them that no matter what type of event or gig you're playing, this loop pack is always gonna impress. So the third pack, this one is called 100 Concert Visuals Volume 1 by Ducky3D. Once again, a great pack coming in with 100 loops, always what we want to be seeing with these beginner packs. So firstly, these clips are just so juicy and colourful that they, to be fair, are quite visually stunning, which as a visual jockey is always the kind of loops that are going to catch your eye. This pack just certainly lacks subtlety due to the intensity of these clips, but when used in the right environment, it's really capable of turning heads. So these clips are great because they were all made within 3D software and have a much more three-dimensional feel to them, whereas the other two feel primarily more 2D. It's great to have some 3D clips in there as it really adds that extra dimension to your visual mixes and something you realistically want to be playing around with as soon as possible. What's also great is that the original files for all these 3D loops are included in the purchase, so it's something that's really great for helping you learn the 3D softwares as well. As you can go in and have a look at how all these different loops were actually made and you can start to create variants of these loops and maybe even have 10 or 12 different versions of the same loop, meaning you can start to do some really awesome remixes of that original loop. 
You should definitely be thinking about getting into 3D stuff as soon as possible, as it's not only where the industry is heading, but pretty much the whole world is heading there over the next few years, so I'd definitely advise getting these skills under your belt sooner rather than later. Again, I find these loops can really complement other loops as well. No matter what kind of deck you end up building, there's always going to be a few of these loops from this pack that will end up really complementing what you're trying to do. So my fourth loop pack is the loop pack bundle from Zero to VJ. So firstly, this loop pack comes in with over 200 loops, which is amazing. And at the time of recording on November 2022, they're currently on sale at $45, which 200 loops for $45 is actually an insanely good value for money. When I talk about gaining as many loops as possible, this pack fits that idea so perfectly that of course it made this list. You'd think that maybe for that price, the quality of loops would be lacking, but they're actually pretty decent loops. I like them a lot. They have a real classic VJ feel to them. I remember when I first started VJing and it was clips like these that really opened my eyes to just how awesome VJing was. Those juicy coloured shapes and visuals that can really stun someone who hasn't yet been exposed to the world of visuals. One of the things I do love about this pack is I'll describe it as the jumble sale of packs. Like when you go to a car boot sale and you've bought a box with God knows what's in it and there's so much fun and exploring what you've just bought. This pack is just so much fun to explore and mess around with. With this particular pack, you're going to find your own clips that speak to you personally and your style, but there is something in this pack for everyone. And finally, the fifth pack I recommend from the Resolume store is called Structures. So this pack only comes with about 35 loops in it, so it's significantly less than the others, but where this pack lacks for in its quantity, it makes up for with its quality. These kind of loop packs that have less visuals in are the ones that are ready to go right out of the box. Like if you're playing a professional gig on a big screen with hundreds of people watching, this is the kind of hassle-free pack that you'd use. I think it's definitely important to have a look at some of these kind of visual packs. As you can see with these types of packs, a lot of the work has been done for you, whereas the others are the ones that really reward exploring and experimenting a lot more, whereas this is just a drag and drop and it's done kind of deal. As a beginner, I would always encourage you to get loot packs that reward you for exploring and experimenting, as this is the thing that's actually going to help you to become a better VJ. I'm a big fan of this one. It's got a real simplistic art style to it but they absolutely look stunning um, i'd be using these for drum and bass and a bit of edm for sure also again they're in 3d so they have that extra dimension to them that really makes your visuals have that 2020s aesthetic to them what i like about this pack also is that there are visuals in here that don't touch the edges of the screen because this loop also comes with alpha channels, it means you can really get creative with how these loops move around the screen, especially when used with cloner effects. I'm using structures as more of an example for professional style packs. It's useful and important to know these more types of drag and drop visual packs, as these are the ones you will more likely be seeing when you get more experienced. I also want to give an honorable mention to the visual packs made by STV in Motion. He's got some really great visual packs on his website these packs feature some amazingly artistic designs and where these packs truly specialize is how the good they are using their alpha channels. I personally have just unfortunately not encountered these packs within my VJ career but these packs do really look great and I definitely thought they were worth a mention as STV in Motion is an OG of the visual game and I would definitely recommend giving these packs an explore for yourself. So these are the top five visual packs that are gonna help you learn to become a better VJ as these packs require you to do more work to them to get them to that high concert ready standard. As a beginner, the most important thing you can be doing is experiment, exploring and having fun with them as much as possible. And these visual packs are going to offer you the most opportunity for that. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, remember to whack it a like. If this is the kind of content you want to be seeing, then whack a subscribe. I'm going to be aiming to upload twice a week as well, and your support is really going to help me keep up with that work rate. So thank you. Peace.